Hi everyone, it's Janet, aka J Witty. <laughs> um, today I'm working on a 12 by 24 stretched canvas, and I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour. And what I'm laying down as my base coat are actually leftover paints from previous pours. So this color turned into kind of like a a green grayish color, uh, which I found to be really interesting. And so basically, uh, there's really no pouring medium per se as far as a definitive um, because it's a blend of a lot of different paints from previous pours. So there's a lot of stuff mixed in with it, you know, from Floetrol to Liquitex pouring mediums, GAC 800. So I did have to add water to the paint to thin it down to the right consistency for a Dutch pour. And the second color that I lay down uh, is more of uh, along the lines of black. So, um, and again, that all the pouring mediums and stuff is gonna be a, a mixed bag. And I really can't tell you precisely a definitive answer to that. Um, it's just a blend of the leftover paints because I do scrape what, you know, drips off uh, the canvases each time and I put them in what I call slot buckets and I try and keep the colors consistent uh, to, you know, uh, the hues and stuff like that. But the greenish gray color is really interesting um, and, and it dried a little more green than gray but um, I really liked it, I really did. And so again, with the black, I thinned out with water. And you're gonna see here in a moment, after I get done blowing it off here, um, I come in with a toothpick type thing and I found a hair. <laughs> and that hair belonged to my fur baby and her name is Cammie. And so I'm gonna, put in a couple of little pictures of her so you can see she's she's my four-legged fur baby love her to death she's a great dog she doesn't ever come into my art studio however because when we pulled up the carpeting we have terraza floor and there she is my cami <laughs> she's she's a sweetheart and such a character um, she doesn't like the terraza floor, so she won't walk into my studio if there's something about the floor that she just does not like. <laughs> so anyways, back to what we're doing here. Um, so the colors that I used uh, to, to blow out over my base are um, a turquoise color by Montmarty, um, the Artist Loft uh, light pink and uh, the white color is again left over from a previous pour and that was Artist Loft Flow White. And then the um, color that I do lay down first is Liquitex Basics Mars Black, a few drops of that into an Artist Loft Crimson color. So it turned out to be like a brick color. And so, and as I blow out, you'll see that the turquoise and the light pink kind of, they, they just kind of got lost uh, in the mix of everything. <clears throat> and I go on and I add two. So it's not just laying the paints down, blowing them out and being done. I kind of work on this a little bit and add a little bit more here and there along the way, as you're gonna see. At the end of the video, I do take you in uh, for a close-up on the white results. And I also included the dry results because uh, <laughs> unfortunately, as this dried, um, everything shifted and some of the white mixture actually shrunk. So I was a little disappointed when I walked into my studio this morning and saw that the composition changed during the drying process. And I think it's because I did not move my canvas when I should have. And then and one thing led to another and I just lost track of time and then realized this morning I didn't go back in there and do what I should have. I mean, I, I, I wiped the drips off like I'm supposed to and I had every intention of moving my canvas off of the, the tray here and putting it you know, where I normally would put it, but I just spaced it 
And so this morning I was a little bit disappointed. Um, when I went into my studio, however, it is what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. And I don't know that um, I'm going to keep this particular piece as it is or whether or not I will eventually pour back over. I haven't decided. So please uh, leave a comment in the, uh, or leave a, yeah, a comment in the comments below. <laughs> it's Monday morning. I think I need more coffee. And um, let me know what you think. And like I said, everything's listed in the description box down below. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit the notification bell. All of that helps for my channel to grow. And, you know, I'm in the learning process like a lot of us are. And so hopefully my videos inspire you to keep pushing through because I know I am. And until next time, guys, stay safe. Take care and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.